Hello everyone, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are working on a white line, but this is different than most of the white lines you see me do. This one actually is gonna track up that outside wall. It's gonna start in this spot in the foot, and then it's gonna work its way up this outside wall. So that's the area that I'm gonna need to remove. Let's get this foot started, and you'll see what I mean. Most white line lesions will result in a sole separation where the foot actually, the sole comes away from the foot and you'll end up with a false sole in there and you've seen me work on those many times. In this case, what this one's gonna do is actually work up the outside wall. Now, the obvious question is, is why does it sometimes take go from the sole and sometimes up the outside wall? And I think a lot of that has to do with the path of least, least resistance. In this case, if you notice that outside wall, there's a little bit of curvature to that outside wall. And I think what happens is over time we get pressure there and that pressure creates a small void inside the foot where it's actually the pressure is forcing that wall out slightly. So when we have that crack becomes infected along that white line, there's actually another area that works up that wall and that so it kind of uh, just continues to track up that wall and, and ultimately needs to find a way out that pressure needs to find a way out in this case it works up that outside wall and out the top like i showed you at the beginning you get a better look here when i switch to the side you'll be able to see all that From this angle, you can see those little cracks and they're gonna work all the way up to that hairline. So what I'm gonna to need to do is, is remove all of this horn. First, I'm gonna get the grinder out and I'm gonna thin that down a little bit so it's a little bit easier to take away with my knife. And then I'll get the knife out and really try to thin that down that those, it'll connect from that, those black marks at the, uh, the sole level all the way to that hairline. So let's get this thinned out and we'll get started with our knife. These type of white line defects are notoriously hard to heal. And the reason for that is because we have to remove all of this wall horn to get these to heal. But the horn that is replaced there is not the same structural integrity as that um, original wall horn until it regrows. And it has to regrow from that hairline and then all the way down slowly over time and that takes a great deal of time the horn that's, it, that replaces this that i'm going to remove now is just it acts as a patch kind of fills that area in and protects it until that good structural horn can grow again but like i said it doesn't have that structural integrity so the for, when forces are applied to it uh, these lesions can even though they look like they're starting to heal can come back and form again because of that so these are there you have to be diligent with these and really keep up on them and try to keep uh keep the the progress going otherwise we can have we can go backwards actually on these and end up having to start all over from the beginning so I'm, i've got a couple different techniques that i'm working on to try to heal these better and to, and to create some more uh, structural integrity in these walls and i'll bring those to you in different videos I've, i'm kind of working on them they're not I wouldn't say I've got them perfected yet, shall we say. So anyway, I'm working on that. This is the classic type of um, treatment for these, and that's to remove all of this wall horn and get that lesion underneath to heal and get this, like I said, that little bit of patch type hoof to form in there. And then over time, let that wall grow down and fill this area in. What I'm doing now is removing, this is a very thin layer of wall horn left. And yeah, as you can see, there's the lesions right underneath that. So these are tricky to not um, hit that underlying corium when we're working on these. You just gotta work very diligently and try to take away little pieces at a time uh, to keep 
from um, doing anything you don't want to do there without nicking stuff but it's very difficult and as you'll see here in a minute it doesn't always go as planned And right here, I have one little piece left to get. And then, just as I touch that corium, she pulls her foot and that knife zips right through there. So I got this, did all of that really carefully and out of my control, she moved just a little bit and we caused a little bit of, of damage there. Nothing serious, but I tend to be a little um, picky with these types of lesions, so I wanna be careful and sometimes that happens, but. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this area cleaned up. I'm gonna get a block on that other claw and then we'll, I'm gonna wrap this with salicylic acid. Th these are notorious, like I said, for having problems healing. So I don't want anything to be get in the way of that with dermatitis. I don't wanna risk any of that. And what I found is if I can keep um, salicylic acid on this every time I check her over and over and over again, it, most of the time I can get these, that patchwork to to fill in there and really get this foot to heal quickly. When I don't do that, when I just spray them out and try to um, take my chances with dermatitis, that's when I end up having to treat these over and over again. So these have become uh, almost automatic with salicylic acid. I use them that a lot now, as you've seen in my videos. But um, So now got the block on there, clean this up one more time, wrap a salicylic acid, and we'll let her go and see uh, see how she's walking. Got a little bit of a point from the glue sticking out there, so we'll buzz that off with the grinder. This foot's ready to come down. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.